Hey guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you all my favorites from March and also a little bit of a haul. I've got some cool things to share. Some of these things aren't like favorite status, like I haven't had them the entire month, but it's just some kind of like cool discoveries I've made throughout the month as well. So I'm going to talk about like my most used things, uh, most worn a little bit, and then uh, some cool discoveries. So before we get started, I'll kind of share with you what I'm wearing, which I always like to do at the beginning, and I swear I'm not like trying to always kill you slowly at the beginning of the video is sharing this, but if I don't mention that or if I don't talk about like the makeup I'm wearing or my top or something, it is the most asked question, so I figure I can just go over it quickly. This is actually a favorite. Um, if you guys watched any of my videos over the month, I think it was the very beginning of this month or maybe last month I did that haul from Nordstrom. And I found these tops. I believe at the time they were $28. I don't think they're any more than like $34 when they're... They're these tops that are by Lush that have this high slit. And um, they're a little sheer, but you... Like I'm wearing a darker bra today, but you can't see through... Maybe you can totally see through it now that I said that. But I'm really picky about that. I don't like to wear super sheer see-through things. I usually will wear like a cami or something underneath, but you don't have to with this. And it's just so nice. And... um I don't mind if your bra shows a little, who cares? Uh, but you know, I just, or right there, I mean, but it's just so nice. And um, the tops look really well made. They're really flowy and pretty, and I love that. And if you wear a high waist uh, jean with this, like I am, you know, you can't see any skin or anything. So, I mean, if you were gonna wear it to work or, you know, you didn't wanna look too risque, which that's not super risque, but I'm just saying. I really love these, and I actually picked this one up in Nordstrom the other day I went and got some really cool stuff. So now I've got it in the ivory, the black, the sort of like beautiful bright reddish orange poppy color that I love. Like army green and then this. So the other color that I don't have is like an emerald green. I very rarely do that. You know you love something if you like wipe it out in all the colors, you know? So this is just such, such a good top. And then this bracelet by Bobble Bar I've been wearing all month. It goes with any color. It's just beautiful. Um, and they're just, it's like a wrap. You know, you could even wear it as a necklace, I think. And then I have my little Karma pendant, which I love. I always love this. And um, they're, it's just simple. It's, you know, delicate. I really love it. And then my uh, David Yerman pearl earrings, which I just am obsessed with. I wear these every day. I will get into the makeup during the video because I'm going to share with you like what I've been wearing the most. I do have a little bit of a like allergy sinus thing so I apologize if I'm like, like catching my breath and stuff. So many freaking cool things. I feel like where are we even going to begin? So I kind of liked looking, not sporty, I mean, but I like to have an option sometimes rather than just pulling my hair up and also like, you know, if we're going to be outside or we're going to be doing something like that, I, I am not a huge hat person. Especially like in the summertime, I feel like, you know, it's either like a floppy hat. You can't get away with some of those like cuter hats like that you would wear, like a fedora, not that I would even like wear. I'm just not a, a big hat person. Um, you know, you can't get away with a lot of those in the summertime, but I just wanted a baseball cap that was like not logo-y, that wasn't solid black because I didn't want to look like I was like in a cult or something. You know, one that was just easy. Um, and I'd mostly be wearing it with my hair down, you know, like if I was just wearing nice clothes and I just wanted a hat. So this is, um, and you could put your hair kind of behind your ears. It hits right at the perfect point where it's not like folding your ears down. You kind of like do different things. You can like put your hair over your ears and kind of separate it. Um, so you kind of have like that easy look. You can put your hair behind your ears. Just kind of a super easy look and I thought that, um, I thought this would be nice. This is a men's hat and it's by the brand Gents and they have this hat in like black leather and plain black and they have like an ombre one that went to blue which I almost got but I thought no, you know, I really just want one that I can kind of wear whenever. It's so soft, it feels so comfortable and um, I, was, I was like, what is that? It was folded. They're not super expensive. They're just really easy. You could put them on kind of just and wear them with whatever. So, um, you know, it's the beach to like, you know, I'm not a big like floppy hat person at the beach. I just can't. I feel like I look like the ultimate, like, I hate to say this, like a tourist. Like I just, I cannot do floppy beach hats. They just don't, they just do not do me any favors. 
other than keeping my face protected, which I like, um, you know, maybe I'll try to find one eventually that I do really like, but baseball caps are just easy, so I really love this one. They do come in sizes. I got a medium. I have kind of a big head. But yeah, I just kind of like it. I like the idea of just throwing on a ball cap and it's not like super like drab looking. It's just a nice hat. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about this hat. Let's move on. I have to share a little update on this nail polish. This uh, C&D Vinyl Luxe nail polish that I purchased from Ulta in a recent haul, fairly recent, maybe about a month or so ago, and super, super impressed. I wanna get other colors, although I'm a little afraid, like I'm, I'm gonna really get better about like returning things like this. Technically, I guess I could return this, but the one that's called Powder My Nose was super, super sheer. This is the one that's like more beige. This one that's called Cake Pop was like paint. Like you could just get away with like one coat. It was beautiful, but truly, truly lasted seven. It says weekly polish, seven days. It would last seven days. I would maybe get just a tiny little chip like on my index fingers. I wash my hands constantly, constantly. Dishes, rinsing things. Um, you know, so I'm impressed. I think that that is very, very impressive for a nail polish. And um, I actually used the top coat that comes with it over my Louboutin nail polish. And I think it kind of made it last a little longer too. But that has definitely been a favorite. This, I am fallen. I have fallen so in love with this. It is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette. And this is in, I believe it's like the lightest one. It says 20 on the back. But so you get like a creamy highlight shade with no shimmer. You get a, um, a contour shade. You get a shimmery highlight shade. And then you get this beautiful color that's kind of um, like a corally blush uh, lip, anything like that. I like to put on my lips. It's just everything. I feel like I could get rid of all of my other contouring things. This is all I need. And I've got a new little tool that works like amazing with this. I think I'm going to do a video with this because I, I've got some really good tips with that. I just want to show you how easy it is and what a big difference it makes. So I might do an updated uh, contour video soon. So that, this I will go ahead and share. Okay, so Beauty Blender has come out with a new little, a new little Beauty Blender, and they call it the Beauty Blender Blush. Now, the original ones look like this, and it's not really, spe I mean, you can use these for anything. That's what's so great. So I hate that they call this one blush. I know that they have the micro ones, and they have the new small ones that are like different colors for your, you know, color correcting and stuff. But you can really use these for anything. Don't think because this says blush you have to use it for that. Well, first, these are dry right now, and I notice immediately that this one is so soft. So with a beauty blender, the best thing I would say is you have to wet it. If you're going to use it for foundation, don't even... I see just so many people that use a beauty blender, and they don't really know. Like I've done so many videos over the years on this, probably like six years, seven years ago or something crazy. I don't know, probably like seven years ago when I did my first one. And you have to do it a certain way. Like if you're going to use it for foundation, you really shouldn't even bother using it if you're not going to use it damp. So you go to the sink, you run it under cold water, you take a washcloth and just really press it out so that when you put it on your skin, no water transfers. It just keeps the product from absorbing in and it makes it larger, more bouncier, softer. It just gives you the most beautiful finish ever. So when you wet it, it literally like doubles in size. So when I see people compare other products or other similar things, you know, a certain popular brand that people always compare to this, it just does not compare at all. You may feel them dry and think, oh, they're a similar shape, and you know, this one may be a little bit of a different shape, but they feel the same. Once you wet them, it's like night and day. So the Beauty Blender Wet is really great for foundation. However, for my under eye concealer, and for contour, for anything, I don't like to, I like to use this to, you know, like I've always kind of shown you guys with my con, or with my, um, not contour, with my highlight right there, or just my under eye concealer, you know? I just use it uh, dry. So that's kind of nice to have around. Um, so I just always kind of keep that. Works really great for contour or whatever. But when I saw this size that was kind of in between, I thought that would be perfect for, you know, this area for contouring and stuff. And when you wet this, it does get much larger. So if you wanted to wet it and use it for blush, that'd be fine. This is pretty ideal though, in my opinion, for blush. So if you wanted to wet this and use it, I just, I just don't like to wet them if I'm using um, blush or if I'm doing anything but foundation really. And that's just, maybe I'm just weird, but that's, that's what I like. So 
it's kind of like a grayish blue. It's kind of a weird color, like a drab color. But I use it with my under eye. You know, it's really nice. It's really soft. Best thing ever that I've been using it for is con is um, contour. So, and this is just dry. So, so perfect with this. It is the perfect size for contour. I had the little green micro mini ones. I don't even have those anymore. They wore out super fast. Maybe because they're so small, um, they just started, you know, like chunking off. And they, I mean, I did use them a lot, but those, I don't know if I would purchase them again. But um, I don't know. They were a little small. They would have to be wet so that they would, when they were wet, they would honestly be like this size. So when this one's wet, it would be... I don't want to say maybe a little smaller than that. it's gonna I don't know, probably like right in between these two so anyways the micro ones were just way too small because I like to use those dr for what I was using those for it's I would want to use it dry so they were just too small and awkward to hold on to but this one is pretty freaking ideal for contour and you can flip it over to this fat side and use it like just so perfect so I will do a video demoing that soon I didn't even think about doing something like that so that would I think that would be helpful um, let me get organized. I feel like I've got so many things sitting out here. Mostly this month I've been doing kind of like a no eyeshadow look and um, you can use eyeshadow for that. That kind of just smooths everything. A lot of times I just skip it totally. But this one is pretty perfect. It is the beige number 17 shimmer wash eyeshadow by Bobbi Brown and it's just one of those colors that is skin tone. It's not glittery but it has that beautiful sheen to it that just looks natural. So for me, it matches my skin pretty perfectly, but it has a sheen. So it just kind of makes everything look smooth and just makes it look even prettier when I want that no eyeshadow look. But even if you were more tan or you had a darker skin tone, this would just look so creamy and beautiful and light. So I think you could, um, I think this would be very versatile. So that's just a little must have. I've just, just been super easy. And then I've been wearing Pretty heavy eyeliner, um, a liquid black liner, winged out. And for that, I've just really been loving these Ico liners. So I have this one called Skinny, which isn't really skinny at all. This is just kind of normal. The difference with this, and the reason why I realize how much I like that, the reason why I love these so much, I realize, is because they have one of those harder felt tips. So like the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner has that brush. I think Tarte has one with the brush. Uh, a lot of them either, you know, they either have the real thin brush or they have the felt tip that's hard. Kind of think like a Crayola marker, you know, kind of that hard tip that's felt, but it doesn't wiggle. That's what this is, and I think that's what works best for me. Loving this blush by NARS. It's one of those rouge special things, so if you are a rouge member and you can get your hand on this, um, do so. You can purchase it separately, I believe, if you're a rouge member. I think maybe not. I'm, I'm trying to think if other people can get it. I don't know. I think I hate it when they do that though. I really do because I think everybody should be able to get it. But um, I think it's fun like when they send out little special gifts to the Rouge members. Like that's what this was. But I think anyone should be able to purchase it if they want. But this shade is called Gulu, G O U L U E. And it's just the most beautiful shade. So if you can get your hands on it, I would definitely recommend that. That's what I'm wearing today. But if you can't, I found the most similar color is the uh, one of these by Too Faced. It's the one called Your Love is King. Very similar. And this is the palette, which is wonderful, but you can purchase them separate as well. So this one's pretty similar if you wanted something like that, but you're not a Rouge member and you're like, no fair, you know? This month I started using this deodorant again. I know. I'm gonna like go into this again totally, but it's the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. I talked about this a lot, and it's kind of one of those popular little things. A lot of people try it. I really don't like the perfume on its own, but the deodorant is just creamy and beautiful smelling, and it it's not overpowering. It just smells like a beautiful deodorant, but it is very, very effective. I started using um, over the last several months. I was using like Dove and just using like you know something regular that I could get at the drugstore because I really don't want to spend money on deodorant. You know what I mean? Like more, a lot of money, but I found that I just, it really wasn't working as well as this was, and I thought, was it my imagination? I'll go back to it and try it. This is so much better, so kind of sucks, but I guess sometimes you do get what you pay for. I have tried some new foundations this month, and one of them I'm wearing today, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I love the bottle, it's just very beautiful, and the bottle's really nice. This one, the, um, my lid always goes on kind of crooked, the, um... A little awkward the lid is but so it's got this little 
plasticky pump, which doesn't look like it goes with the bottle. It's just kind of weird. Um, or it doesn't feel like it goes with the bottle. It's very shade, but it works perfectly fine. It's whatever. Um, I use the shade Too Fair, which is or number two in fair, which is pretty perfect for me. It's just absolutely my perfect shade. It is very natural. It's not one that's illuminating. It's not one that's matte. It is a very natural finish and that it's not, um, like I said, it's not too flat. It's not too shiny. It's just pretty perfect. And I love the consistency. It's kind of thicker. So when you put it out on your hand, it kind of like keeps its form. You know what I mean? It's not a really thin, runny foundation. It's similar to the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, I would say, in consistency. A little thicker, probably not. I'd say they're pretty similar. The coverage is amazing. And um, the type of brush I like to use with that, I have used a beauty blender with it and it's wonderful, but I like using any of these like dense type of foundation brushes, whether it be like your Sigma ones or any of your Marc Jacobs ones. These I freaking love, the Face 2 and the Face 3 by Marc Jacobs. Really good with that. And then I'm also, I might do a video, if y'all wanna see like a full thing on that, I'll, cause I have been wearing it a lot, but you know, if you wanna see a demo, I'll show you. Um, the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid. So I got this in one of those deluxe samples with Sephora and I honestly didn't expect to like it as much. So I'm the lightest shade, which is, is this the lightest shade? It's called Dynamic. Super light, which really excites me because a lot of times makeup or foundation, they don't come light enough. I know that's kind of like funny to say, but I just, I hate foundation that looks too dark, hate it. And a lot of the times the lightest colors are still just a little too dark. So really excited about this. This I did not expect to like. I thought maybe it's gonna be a little too oily with the argan oil, it might be, you know. It disappears like into nothing. I hate to even use this because it's a sample and I want it to like, oh, I feel like I squirted out too much. Frick, okay, whatever. So again, this one is kind of thick too. But it like, okay, you can see how light this is. It has a really like fresh scent, but it just disappears into like nothing. It's not greasy, but it looks really illuminating. You can't really see. I, I try to look, the, like there's a, a little bit of shimmer. I think it's gonna be really pretty. So um, I can't wait to really try that a lot. I did put a little on my skin the other day when I wasn't really like doing a full foundation look to get ready. I was just seeing what it looked like on my skin and it was freaking beautiful. So I'll keep you updated on that. That was just something new that I kind of wanted to share, but I can see myself purchasing this and I haven't even tried it yet. Like how weird is that? But just the way it feels, it's so unique. It doesn't feel oily. It just feels like it kind of went into nothing, but it looks really illuminating, which is kind of neat because I don't have too many foundations like that. I usually like to go for more of a natural finish. I don't like anything super matte. I don't like anything super shimmery usually, but it's kind of fun, I think, sometimes. Even the most matte foundations you can use with a damp beauty blender and use just a little bit and make it look really natural. So um, that's wonderful. And then also this new Tarte Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. It's really, really good powder foundation. I'm really picky about powder foundation. I really love the It Illuminating, um, the Celebration one, but this one is a close, I wouldn't even say they're tied because the Illumination one is really illuminating, so I guess that's probably the most illuminating one I own, although I was kind of thinking about liquid, that's like a powder, but this one is the most natural. I wear the shade Fair Neutral. It's the most natural feeling, doesn't feel like, you know, when you use powder foundation, sometimes it's like, you know, you can feel it. Um, very natural feeling, but it looks so natural. Like it doesn't look powdery. And when it says creamy, it is a powder, but it's just a very smooth, feels very like fine. It's just, oh, it just feels good. Um, doesn't have any kind of scent to it, which I like. I love the cocoa powder foundation, how it looks, but as I wore it like several times, several months, it just was kind of like, uh, sometimes you get sick of that smell, you know? The eyeshadows are nice, but sometimes that smell like around with you all day is just a lot. Okay, so what else do I have? Oh, for lips and stuff, I want to do like a whole lip video because I feel like I've got a lot of good stuff. These um, Jouer lip sticks, the creamy, what's it called? The lip cream, they're just wonderful. The shade range is wonderful. But then, you know, every time I try something and I go back to like the original thing that, that started, like why I liked it or 
whatever. The formula of these Kat Von D's, like you can say this is similar. The Anastasia is very, very similar. The Anastasia is probably the most similar to this. I can't even complain about the Anastasia, but these are just so good. Um, the Jouer ones are too, but I think too it's just this color, the Lovesick, the Kat Von D. If I ever just don't want to have to think about something or wonder if it's going to look good, this one always just does. I love it. Uh, what else? I meant to mention this when I was talking about the eyeliner, but I purchased these, this little trio of Kat Von D ink liners because I always have been so in love with the tattoo liner in Trooper. I love the formula, but that one has a little brush, which is fine. Like I was talking about, I'm more into like the felt tipped ones. Well, I was looking the other day and I was like, how did I never notice? She has two different pen liners. She has one called the tattoo liners, which I'm guessing all have a little um, brush tip, and then she has the ink liners, which these have a felt tip. So I purchased this set because it came with Trooper, which is the black that I've always loved in the tattoo. So it's come, it comes in the same colors, um, some of the same colors I'm guessing, and Hemingway, which is a brown, and then um, Baudelaire, which is a navy. So they're very, they're small, but whoa. But you know, I thought it'd be a good way to try these and just kind of see. And um, it is a felt tip, so it's it's just like what I showed you in the Ico. So I'm excited about that. I think that's kind of neat um, that she has two different ones like that, whether you prefer a brush or a little um, felt tip. So I'm really excited to try those. And that's again something that's not really a favorite, but it's something that I picked up. That I just kind of wanted to share. With the powder foundation, this is the kind of brush that I love to use. I think that just nothing else compares. I have other brushes that look like this, but they may not have as much give. They may not be as soft. Some brushes that are so dense, I feel like just kind of knock off the foundation. Like I feel, I feel like sometimes it's really got to be really soft and dense. And this is just the best. It's the um, Precision, Precision Face Brush by Bare Minerals. Really, really nice. I love this. This is just a must-have brush for me. For foundation, for powder foundation, you just kind of press it in. You don't really go, you know, it's just so perfect. But I also like, to, like if I put on blush and I need to blend it out a little, it's always good to have. And then, gosh, um, I have a couple more things to show you. I know we're kind of like getting long here, but the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, that's what I'm wearing today. I feel like it's just a very dramatic, beautiful look, and I'm just into it again. I go back and forth between a lot of different ones, but this month, I don't know if it's this particular tube that's really good. I feel like this is the most. While it's my favorite this month because I've used it the most, this and the Chanel volume, it is the most inconsistent stuff on the planet because I really do think sometimes they feel too wet. They don't feel like as dramatic, but this one, this tube has been really good and I I think it's just all about how it dries out, how, you know, when you first use it sometimes, you have to give it a couple weeks for it to almost get a little old, you know, for, for it to start working really well, like for it to thicken up. So I really love it when they do work well. But that one has been really wonderful. So that is it, guys. Hope that you enjoyed the video, a mix of favorites, a mix of some new fun things that I discovered this month. As always, I will link to everything below. I know that I mentioned some clothing and some different things in this video and um, I'm thinking that I might do another haul because I picked up some things that are really affordable, that are really nice, um, that I think are worth sharing. So I, I love doing those clothing kind of like try on videos. And you guys always seem to like those too. So um, I will do another one of those soon or just let me know kind of like what types of videos that you want to see coming up. Many cool things coming up in April, so many fun videos. I'm going to try to vlog a lot more. Uh, we've got a lot of cool things going on that I'm going um, to try to vlog and stuff like that. So thanks again, guys, as always, for spending this time with me today, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.